Okay, let's go. I got a report to do on Mars. Okay, ten seconds to launch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh oh. Don't you think NASA will be ticked off? Daniel is the owner now. Whatever. Anyway, don't you think he'll be ticked off? Ticked off? Well, he finds the shuttles off. I forgot to ask permission to add for discovery. Oh, he's gonna kill us. Abort mission. I repeat, abort mission. Negative, pilot. I'm sorry, but I can't abort mission. We just exited the atmosphere, and we have to wait at least 24 hours before we return to Earth. Daniel's going to be mad. He told us not to touch his stuff when he, without his permission. But Emily, i got a report to do on Mars. It's due next Friday. Steven, what are you doing? You can do your report on Earth, but no, you decided to do it in space. Don't blame me if Daniel gets mad at you. Don't worry, I'll handle things the best way I can. Hyperspeed now. Activating hyperspeed. Guys, I think we need a new tactic to engage the car. Try aiming for the top of the grill. That's his weak spot, the computer. Once we destroy the car's CPU, the car will become completely immobilized. First, we have to wait a minute before the B-29 Super Fortress becomes available at our disposal. To make matters worse, the car can even drive without tires, meaning that you can fly flatten all tires. But that won't stop the car. I think Smith will be able to do that because it's too risky for a plane to do it. ATTACK! Both of you stop bickering before I eject you out of your plane. Concentrate on flying. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Yes! Who 
cool, but right now we have. Wait a minute. You're alive? You're back. Oh, thank God. Well, anyway, I have to tell you something. We need you to, to, to be in battle with us. We have to stop this going white dash from reaching the gas station. We need your power. Understand? Got it. What did you do that for? That's what it says in the owner's manual. It says here. Shut up and just turn on brakes and straighten the plane out. Let me see that. Wait a minute, this is one of your stupid books that you make up, isn't it? No, it's the instruction manual for the plane. I had no idea this baby had its own instruction manual. I thought the sergeant taught us how to fly. He did. All he said was to read the instruction manual. Oh, Sarge. Sarge, Whippy has just told me a ridiculous story about you training him just by telling him to read the instruction manual. Is this true? Yes, it's true. And why are you still on the ground where you should be airborne? Because Whippy and I were fighting over the book. Mr. Big Guy, get along with Whippy or else you're fired from the team. Understand? Good sir, over and out. Fire up all engines. Check. Flaps. Check. Full throw! Rep! Check! Did you say rep? Yes! What does rep stand for? Why emergency power? You said only an emergency when you need a backup boost! Oh, I'm sorry! It's okay! Oh, Whippy! Yeah? Since we are in full throw, why are we not moving? Oh! I forgot to release the brakes! Look up, everyone! Landing gear! Jack! Let's go get some! Oh no! Not another mama! Skull! Please do something about it! You know I did? Look out! Incoming missile! Missile! Watch out! Watch this! Justice. 